here are six ways to select your real estate agent. Step number three, and I was talking about this a little bit earlier, but it's do your personalities match? Belle, I'm sure you think I have it all, but there is something that I'm missing. I can't imagine. A wife. You're going to spend 60 to 90 days sometimes with this person. This, this agent is going to be involved with your lender. The agent is going to be involved with your attorneys. The agent is going to be involved with the inspection and the appraisal and every other part of their transaction. And I promise you, if you can't stand the agent now, it's probably never going to get better. And you have to spend, like I said, 60 to 90, imagine 60 to 90 days with somebody you can't stand. Don't do that to yourself. Take a look at the red flags from the beginning. If you really don't feel that vibe, just on to the next one. It's very simple. No hard feelings. I mean, I don't want to work with a client who I can't get along with because I have to spend 60 to 90 days with you. Why would I want to spend all that time with you if I don't like you? And I truly believe it's that simple. If both parties don't vibe, it's okay. It really is okay. Remember, there's a hundred something thousand of us. Pick another one. My worst clients are know-it-alls. The people who know everything. They've bought and sold before. They've rented, they've managed, they've blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't care. I've defined my worst client as a know-it-all and I just won't work with them. And, and again, that's okay. So I know who I can vibe with and who I can't. And step number three, I urge you when you're interviewing your agent, if something seems off, then it's off and just find somebody that makes you seem on.